Are you a PC user and wondering what the Photos app is and how it can help you manage your photo collection? Or maybe you didn't even know that Windows has a Photos app. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain what it does and what it doesn't do. So let's learn a little bit more about the Windows Photos app. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, co-founder of Pixology, and I teach people how to use the photo software and apps available so that you can manage your pictures and that your memories are saved and enjoyed today, 10 years from now, and even generations to come. Today's lesson is going to be about the Windows Photos app, and I'm not sure what Microsoft was thinking, but this is the Photos app that comes installed with Windows 10 on your PC computers. You probably have used it when you've edited a photo, and maybe you're not quite sure what else it does. I know, I haven't given it much thought because I've opened it and I really didn't think it was very useful. I put this video together because I think that people should know what it's about and maybe it'll help you start thinking about how you use photo software because I mean we teach you've got to look at it more than you know once every few months or years when you need a picture for a special event. Pictures and managing your digital memories should be uh, something you do at least monthly if not weekly. Deleting the old pictures making some folders and backing them up. The Windows Photos app is useful for a few things and it's not useful for one major thing. So stay tuned and we're going to talk about points that are really important for you to know about the Windows Photos app. There are two ways to open the Photos app on your PC. You can go to the search bar and type photos and open it and it takes you right to your collection view. Now I'm going to close it and show you the other way to open it. Often people just double click on a picture and it brings them into an edit and create screen. You may not have known it but you are opening the Windows Photos app when you do that. So here we are. I can click on the left hand upper corner, see all photos. And that takes me back to the same screen that I see when I open the photos program. So in this view, there's what we're looking at is the collection view of photos. It's got a timeline down the right hand side, which might be useful if you want to look for pictures that way. I don't have my whole photo collection here. This is just an example. So I'm just scrolling up and, and you can kind of see how that timeline works. Next to collection is the albums view. This is an area where you could create an album if you wanted. The album isn't anything physical, it's just a collection of pictures that are related that you put together. I like to use folders to put things together, put, to put my pictures together. So I don't use albums um, ever because that would be something else that I'd have to keep track of the organization. So I ignore that. Next we have the people tab and here you can actually use facial recognition in your pictures. Now I have it turned off and I think this is really a funny thing. Photo or facial recognition is a pretty common feature in, um, in, in photo organizing softwares. I have never seen this uh, agreement before. When you go to turn on photo recognition or facial recognition, you have to agree here by enabling the people setting you represent that you have all appropriate consents from the people in your photos and videos. Well, I'm not going to go around asking people if I can run facial recognition. So I'm keeping it off, but I do think that that's Microsoft's way of respecting privacy. So 
you know, when you use Google, facial recognition occurs there, and um, we know how much information Google is collecting. So at least Microsoft gives you that option. I also don't think facial recognition is helpful here because I don't view the Photos app as a solution to all your photos and their management. I don't think this, this program is the right place for your pictures. So I'm not gonna worry about facial recognition here. The most important tab is the folders tab. This view shows you the major folders on your computer that have pictures in it. So I can see my pictures folder and my OneDrive folder with pictures in it. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to click in the pictures folder and you can see it shows me other folders that aren't useful and then I have the family photo collection for the example. Here you can see I have different folders with dates on it. Who knows what yours might look like? It just depends on what's accumulated, what you've transferred from computers in the past perhaps or whatnot. So I just want you to understand that when you see this view, it is the same as the Windows File Explorer. So remember I had the pictures and I had the view of the folders that didn't make sense. I went right to the family photo collection. Well, here are my folders of pictures, okay? All the Windows app is doing is giving you a different view of that. Now, I don't think this view is particularly fun or enjoyable compared to other programs. I'll put a couple screenshots of photo programs that have a better view, I think. That's a quick overview of how these tabs work. Now, there are three things that I think the Photos app are, is good for. Editing photos. Remember you were double clicking on a picture maybe to, to see it. So here I am in that editing view and I can edit and create. And I have, you know, the basics, uh, crop. Um, cropping is usually an important one. Okay, hold the presses. I, I cannot believe that when I show people the features in their photo organizing programs, how excited they are about the editing like, you know, adding stickers and, and, and stuff. And, and to me, that's just really not important for the long-term preservation of your memories. But I mean, putting a border on, some people get really excited about that. So it's, this is just a public service announcement. I wish that people would spend less time editing their pictures and more time preserving the pictures that they want to have around for decades and for the kids kids you know in the future and I'm back to my picture and here this is where I can crop if I wanted to you know just to maybe get the nice picture of my son and my mother-in-law and then I can save a copy or I can just save this if I save a copy both the original picture are saved and the the edited picture so when we go back now you can see here, I'll make the icons a little larger. You can see I have the edited picture and the original picture. So editing is useful. Okay, the feature that I think is amazing, like I really love it, you can make a video pretty darn easy. And I have one started here for you, a slideshow example. Some of you might know that I used to be the Wisconsin Senior Olympics Executive Director, and I just made a quick video here of photos from my Senior Olympics time. And uh, you add pictures from your, your library or your collection, and then you can just drag them down in there. You can change the amount of time that the, the, the picture plays, and you can add motion and 3D effects and filters. There's all sorts of things that you can do. Once you have your pictures in, you can 
had um, background music and I don't think there was much choice from Microsoft but you can add your own audio um, from your computer which is kind of cool and then there's add title cards duration text background you can change a lot I thought it was a really nice quick way for people to make their own slideshows so when you're done you finish the video and then you export it and you can save it to your pictures or maybe even right to your desktop and export and then your video is done so i thought okay there is something really really good about this program creating a quick video is a great feature and look at those memories you know when you think about how photos inspire and motivate people don't you just want to get outside and do something fun now I said there's a point, and this is what the Windows Photos app is not good for, and that is for organizing photos. I'm back in my main family photo collection view, and I have um, just rearranged my pictures so that they're sorted with the oldest first. Here on the bottom row are a few pictures from my husband and I back in like 1991. <laughs> so I would love to put these pictures into the Paul and Molly 1990s folder and you would think alright I've got them selected can I drag them? Nope. Could I add them? See the top row here add to that folder? Nope, I can only add it to the album or a new video with music. That's not helpful. So I can't organize my pictures, even the most simplest move in the Photos app. Very frustrating for me. I would need to go back to the Windows File Explorer and move these pictures into the folder that way. That's why I don't recommend it as a long-term photo organizing solution. At Pixology, we recommend using Forever, and I've got a, a link up above that you can see the five reasons why we like using Forever. Uh, the Windows Photos app is just not a long-term strategy. So I hope this was useful, and if you did find a feature in the, the Photos app that I didn't talk about, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. If you liked this, this video, please subscribe to Pixology's channel. We love providing tutorials so that you can do this stuff yourself. If you do need help, give us a call or an email. We provide services including printed photo organization as well as remote digital photo organization. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you the next time.